Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nita Joe's Play Therapy, because it is some fun therapy. Um, I want to do a really quick video. So you guys have seen these wallets. If you watched the unboxing that I did when these wallets came in, I think like a week or two ago. Um, just really, really like these. Want to show you something else. You've seen this one. And then, so we have these little cuties from Coach that I've had for years now. Uh, little wristlets that you can kind of carry like a small little pouch for date night or whatever. And they have the large C's on them too. These are really, really nice. Uh, trimmed in leather. And then you have the wallet with the nice trim and the nice cotton inside of it and has a zipper that's just for those of you who have not seen these things before but I quickly wanted to just let you know how much I've changed my mind about the large signature for DMB because for coach I was pretty much always already wearing the handbags that had the larger signature on it so it took me a minute when I first saw these on the website um, on the I Love Dooney website because that's where I shop mostly. Every now and then I go, I go over to the Dooney and Burke website, but ILD usually has the things that are older for a good price. So anyway, so it took me a minute to adjust my eyes to these. Um, my husband bought me one that I showed you guys, uh, the Heidi, last year. I have one in black and one in in the red wine in this nice print here this this canvas print but it took me a very long minute to get used to them that's why I only ordered them or I only let him buy me because I, I I just told him what I wanted I only bought them in the smaller size because I thought that's kind of you know what I wanted I wanted a, a smaller bag with a larger print on it but I just ordered two large bags because as soon as I got these I realized you know what I really do like this and I wouldn't mind having it in a larger bag I'm not going to show those bags on this video I was thinking about saving those bags and putting them away for you know the holidays so you may or may not see that full video until later this year. But the point I'm making is sometimes we see things, and I've said this before on my channel, sometimes we have seen things that we think we don't like or that, um, that we may think is, is not our taste or whatever. And when I made up my mind, because I have three of these now, um, and then this one and then I have another smaller print signature but when when I made up my mind to purchase these and they came in they were so cute um, I know a lot of people probably take the wristlet off when I'm carrying it just like a clutch I want the wristlet on because I want to be able to know that it's secure in my hand or whatever or just kind of carry it like a clutch but it took me, gosh, it took me like that long since last year to get used to this oversized DMB. That is so cute. And I believe that one reason why was because I was convinced in my mind that, because it took me a minute to get used to the coach, but I got used to the coach quicker in the large signature than I did the DMB. And in my mind, because I've carried Louis Vuitton. Sometimes we get these things stuck in our head that, oh, only one brand is known for a monogram signature. You know what? Don't let people or trends or social media or other people's opinions sway you on something new coming out that's similar to something else because they always copy off of each other. They always replicate one another. And sometimes it's not the contemporary brand or so, so those of us who consider our contemporary brands luxury our low-end luxury it sometimes is not the high-end luxury 
that has brought that particular trend or brand out. Now, we know that LV has been rocking those, that monogram forever and a day since back, 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 back in the day since I forgot even when they started. They, you know, they, they were a luggage company. But I've seen so many videos where people who carry only luxury bags kind of, I don't know, it's kind of condescending the way they speak about uh, contemporary designer handbags that are very good quality and cost thousands of dollars less. So in my mind, I, it took me, it, I had to tell myself, look, this is something cute. Okay, so it's in a large print. Let's try it out. So when I tried it out, I kind of got used to it um, over and over again seeing it. And then on Suz Watch channel, I saw the, the red sack that she bought for her friend. I think it was for Christmas. I'm not sure what it was for, but she bought the large sack in this color for her friend. And when I saw that bag and the inside of it with that lining on around, um, around the collar, that was so gorgeous to me. And that was one of the things that changed my mind on this large print is seeing that video. So sometimes, you know, we just need to see something in a good light um, and, I don't know, just kind of see the ins and outs of it and not just look at it from the outside. We need to kind of look at it from the inside and then make our decision, but not just say, oh, that looks like such and such, so I'm not going to wear that. No, this is, this is this brand. This is what they're doing. This is this brand. This is what they're doing. Nobody has a patent on different styles. Nobody has a, a patent on different, um, uh, let's see, fabrics or, or canvases or Florentine leathers, Italian leathers. Nobody has a patent on those. So um, now there are, you know, if you get borderline and you kind of cross over into some people's territory, there have been lawsuits and things like that filed. But... The point I'm making is that it took some time for me to get used to this. I did not like it when I first saw it. I was like, ugh. And over the time, when after I ordered the Heidi, I kind of grew into it. And then when I saw uh, that, like I said, when I saw that handbag on Cezanne's channel, it really made me fall in love with not only this color, but the large print. I thought it was so cute. And it matches different people's personalities. And uh, the friend that she bought it for, it seems like it really, really matches her personality. But I just want to say, kind of try some things out that are different. You know, um, you may not be uh, a person who carries culture, who carries Dooney, but you may see something out there that you like. And you, you know, you might think that it's similar to something else. But if it's something that you really, really like, uh, go ahead and try it out. I mean, most people have a return policy. Um, but I just want to say that I really, really am starting to like this. Not starting to. I, I completely am. am th this is my thing right now. This is my thing. So when I want something bold in my hand, I want to make a quick run. I want something cute in my hand. I will grab one of these or something similar to it. Uh, I don't have just one wallet because for a long time, back about 20 years ago, I only carried one wallet until it fell apart. And I thought, why? Wow, that was really boring. So... You know, I just wanted to do something different. And no, no disrespect to anybody who only carries one wallet. Because I love the heck out of that wallet. It came out of Dillard's. I paid over $100 for it. And I wore it until it fell apart. But I want to, I want to change things up. I'm getting older now. And I don't want to limit myself on, you know, like different designs and different styles that I'm doing. So I went from almost hate <laughs> to loving these oversized uh, D, D and B uh, monograms on here just like I went from not liking these so much to really to really loving the signature especially on these smaller ones right here but yeah so now I have um, I'm going to have some matching pieces uh, that go directly with these um, if I want to or I can still wear them with my my camels and browns and um different reds and then darker colors for these so anyway that's my video guys uh i know maybe that's not something 
like eye opening but i have been watching videos where i have actually seen and and i don't know why i'm shocked over this because i guess that she was so honest uh one of my youtubers that i absolutely love she does all luxury and she made a statement that she does not buy a coach she can't buy a coach anymore and like half her half, half of her viewing audience was with her they understood how you can't you can't go back but she actually had some people that really really had issues with her not being able to go back and and so and part of her not being able to go back is because of the people who were influencing her you guys be influenced but in the end by your own decision we only show some of these things because we want you to see what's out there. We want to see your choices. Those of us who love handbags and who love to share information, that's why we're sharing this information. We just want to see you, want you guys to see these beautiful things that are out there. And we, you know, all of us get influenced. And I just think it's sad that she got influenced and so much that she feels like if she saw something by coach, she really, really couldn't buy it. And you have to feel like, I mean, I know you, you have to have a lot of money. You're like, well, why would you feel sorry for a rich person? Well, you have to feel empathy and sympathy for the next person. Um, you have to walk in their shoes for a minute because there is a level of pressure at every level of life. Whether you feel like you have nothing, whether you feel like you have a little bit of something, or whether you feel like you have a lot, there is a lot of pressure out there. So sometimes we have to surround ourselves by people who are not so materialistic, even though this is about materialistic things, but not so materialistic and to the point where they look at you funny because you want to carry a contemporary brand instead of that high-end six to $10,000 bag. Anyway... Like I said, I have changed my mind on this. I'm not letting anything that I've carried or that I have in, in my closet influence me anymore on what I, if I see something really, really cute and then think, oh, because it's like something else that I don't want to get it. If it's good quality, if it's at a good price, I'm going to get it. Um, I do have some high-end bags in my collection. But I also want to free myself up and not be condemned by others who are or who only carry luxury, um, you know, and even people who only carry contemporary. Like, why are you spending that money on something a uh, higher end? So anyway, you guys, check it out. Check these out. If you're afraid to buy something like this, you might want to try a little small piece. Like I did, a little small purse or a little small wallet. See how you like it. See how you grow into it. Because you just may change your mind and start to love it. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for walk watching, watching, watching. And hey, remember if you have been watching my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Do all that nice stuff. And leave a nice comment. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.